Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are all having a fantabulous day today, Pisces. So, before we get into this reading, as usual, I will be putting down some holy water. Oh, yeah. So good in the neighborhood, Pisces. Mm. So, you know what time it is, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Tarot's now in session. Most Honorable Judge T. T. Don presiding. You can all lay down. So, Pisces, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always say, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Show me the energy of the person, not the... Okay, the text acting a little weird. Show me the energy of the person, not the beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Show me the energy of the person, not the beautiful Pisces is dealing with. All I heard is I'm being taken to the underworld. I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm being taken to the underworld. What is this all about? I'm being taken to the underworld? So your person's being taken to the underworld. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's literally what I heard. I'm being taken to the underworld. Uh, this person looks like they're wanting to talk to you about something. Uh, it could be maybe there's a deficit of equal give and take. Something's off balance. We've got the king of cups. That is your energy. It could be your person's energy. I don't know. We need to get into this reading. Six of swords. So this person's moving away from... A troubled point in their life. So it's like smooth sailing, right? Okay. I think we need to talk to the underworld. So what is this? Why? What are they being taken to the underworld? What is this about? What? What is this about? What is this about? I'm being taken to the underworld. That's all I we keep hearing it over and over. Oh, well, I told you. We had the Six of Swords as the overall energy for the reading. The Five of Swords. Okay. It's whoever this is is tired of being taken to the underworld. They're tired of always getting hurt. They're tired. It's like uh, all I hear is I'm, I'm I'm tired of always being hurt. I'm being taken to the underworld, and I'm tired of always being hurt. What's coming out of this? What's coming out of this? Okay, I feel like this person's coming, it's like they went as low as they could go here, alright, and now this person, it's like they're coming out squeaky clean, okay, I don't know what's been going on, but it, well, of course I don't know what's been going on, I'm going to always say this, I'm like, I should know more, like I should know more about this person, I don't even know this person. All I know is their energy. God. So, yeah. So, they're, they're coming out squeaky clean. This is all about this person. It's like, I'm, I'm sick and tired of being taken to the underworld. I'm always getting hurt. And this change, they went through a change that is for the better, that's allowed them to become more grounded here. And to, like I said, come out squeaky clean. Hmm. So this is like, it was time that this person 
had a change in their life. That's literally what this is all about. They've had a huge, drastic change in their life. Coming out squeaky clean, though, on the other side. Okay, we're going to talk to the King of Cups. We're going to see why the King of Cups is here in this person's energy. What's going on with the King of Cups? This could be your energy, too. What's going on here with the King of Cups? What's going on here? Red de Copas. What's going on here with Red de Copas? Lovers. King of Cups with the Lovers, please. What's going on with the King of Cups and the Lovers, please? What's going on with the King of Cups and the Lovers? What's going out on with the King of Cups and the Lovers? What's going on with the King of Cups and the Lovers, please? You're going to make me shuffle, truffle this one out, baby. So clearly, this is you, and you're not happy with what this person's been offering you when it comes to this relationship, because it's like you've been stuck. You feel like this is a strong soulmate connection, and this person is like acting like it's not. And it's like they're, this person's a very confused, disappointed, immature, spiritually non-woke mother trucker. Okay? So, Jesus. So they've been, you're not happy with what is being offered in this connection. Huh. I can see that clearly. You're like, fuck. Don't want that. What has this person been offering, Pisces? What has this person been offering you? Oh. Shit. This is a fucking... Oh my god. What are they offering you? They're offering you seven swords. Seven fucking swords my god so this person is like <laughs> they're uh they're tiptoeing around something and it's making you feel stuck but this energy that they're carrying here okay is that of this five swords so they're hurt they keep tiptoeing around some shit and They've gone under some kind of transformation that's made them come out more grounded and squeaky clean. But, but, they're tiptoeing around the bush on something still. And they're tiptoeing around on this five swords, which is a bunch of nonsense. So what are they avoiding here? What do they keep avoiding It's not that they're off. I feel like they're just avoiding something. They keep off. It's like they're offering you something else, but there's something else that they're avoiding. So maybe they're offering you mac and cheese because they don't want to. There's something else that. What are they avoiding? I feel like they're kind of avoiding a fight. That's kind of what I feel like they're avoiding. They're avoiding a fight. I feel like they're avoiding a fight with those... That's they're, I'm tired of being taken down to the underworld. So it's like, no. I'm not... They're, they're, why would they avoid a fight? What would this fight be about? What? What? Well, obviously the Seven of Swords, but what, let's go a little deeper. What would this fight be about? What? 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 Come on. Come on now. What would this be about? What would this be about? Come on. I'm going to shuffle one last time 
And if I don't get anything, then I'm not going to force it because it's just, uh, yeah, it's not, I'm not forcing it. It's just a fight. They're avoiding a fight, avoiding a conflict because it's going to be very different for each and every single one of you because I doubt you're all dealing with Taylor, okay, man or woman. It can be a woman or man's name. So we're just going to call this person Taylor, okay? So Taylor here is just trying to avoid a fight, but it's like, are you wanting, I think, I feel like you're wanting to have a discussion and you're not getting the discussion. No, I, I strongly feel that. We need to talk to the six of pen then. Let's go six of pen. Six of pen. Six of pen. What's going on here? Six of pen. Six of pen. This is tissing tiss me. Tissing me off. It's tissing me off. Tissing me off. What's going on here with this jerk here? It knows what I'm talking about when I say that. We. Okay, that shot me in the ear and right over my face. Well, there's definitely a deficit here. And there's a deficit here because this person is controlling. They're straight up controlling. This is a controlling mother trucker. Oh, I gotta itch my back. The cat scratcher, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh God, yes. I felt so good. Oh. Yeah, so they're, they're controlling. Whoever this is, is just a controlling mother trucker. And, but you guys, I don't know. So, there's conversation here happening. What's this conversation that's about to take place here between these two mother truckers? What's this conversation that's about to take place with Pisces and this mother trucker? What's this conversation that's about to take place with Pisces and this mother trucker? Come on. Man, this, I'm telling you what, this person is. The energy of the cards. My cards are starting to become hot and fiery right now. I can feel the fire. What's this conversation that's getting ready to take place? Fudge. This could be a message of good news. What is this? What is this message here? Is this message? Yeah, it's okay. So they're coming in. They're definitely wanting to talk. It's a three repeating messages. So what are what are they wanting to talk about here? I feel like they're wanting to move forward here in this connection. So there's going to be a talk. That's for damn sure. About moving forward here together. So whether you want to or not, that's up to you. The energy that this person is holding is definitely that. Of moving forward together. But I can see clearly here that you love this person, but you're not happy because they keep throwing seven swords at your ass. And they're trying to avoid some kind of conversation here. Because they don't want a fight to break out. So you're going to know what the fight is all about. I'm not. It's not going to let me pull any harder. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Help me, please, Jesus. Okay. I'm hopping off this mother trucker because my hands are on fire. I love you guys. You know what to do on the way out. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tarot's adjourned.